and then when I, ho I hover over my button you can see that our animation is live but yeah hello everyone this is Payan welcome to on the Zone channel this is gonna be a quick tutorial on how you can create a cool button animation actually a hover state on Figma so let's just jump right into it first thing first I need to create my button so I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard and write a label so I'm gonna for example go with learn more I'm gonna start my text by changing the font the font is gonna be maybe DM Sans yeah and then the uh, font is gonna be medium all right set the font size to 14 that is okay and now uh, before creating anything you know before you want to convert this to a button just make sure that the height of the text is always even an even number because that's gonna if it's something else that's gonna ruin your spacing and also make sure that uh, the the text is always visually centered inside the text box uh, if not you can always like play with this and make sure it is um, in the center all right so for example this height is okay then in order to convert this to a button I'm gonna hit shift a on my keyboard after selecting this text in order to create an auto layout and then I'm gonna set a fill color, which I'm gonna go with a goldish, uh, maybe a goldish yellow. Let's go a little bit lighter, yeah, something like that. All right. And then uh, what I wanna do, I'm gonna set some spacing to this button. And let's actually remove the gap. Alternatively, you can, you can use variables here, but this is just for the sake of um, the animation, so I won't use any variables. So for the um, horizontal spacing, for the horizontal padding, I'm going to go with 24. And for the top and bottom uh, or vertical one, I'm going to go with 12, something like that. And then I want this button to be fully rounded because I want to animate it uh, like a circle, expand, something like that. Then, uh, so I need to select my button and set the corner radius to maybe it's 999, the maximum number and um, yeah in order to have the hover state the same as the width of the button I need to create another frame for this and contain this basically inside that frame uh, I know it's a little bit confusing but uh, once I do the animation you're gonna figure it out so let's rename this to a button and then I'm gonna hit uh, control alt G on my keyboard to create a frame out of that button so as you can see this button is contained in the frame so rename it to button con container something like that oops all right now we can animate it so in order to you know have the animation to be reused all over your design uh, make sure to convert this to components so i'm going to select this one and convert it to component by here you know by hovering over this one that says create component or alternatively you can uh, tap uh, control alt k on your keyboard but i'm going to go by clicking on this and then my button container or button is created and then i'm going to create uh, a very vari variant for this basically so i'm going to select my component go to the properties select it, create a variant and the name of the variant is going to be hover and then increase the width a little bit let's call this one false because I want to make sure it's a boolean variant and then duplicate it by um, pressing and holding alt on your keyboard and drag in your object uh, to someplace else so yeah, that's gonna just duplicate it and then set the hover state to true all right for the animation i want as mentioned i want the button to actually expand in size but i don't want the clicking area you know the hover area to get uh, decreased in size i want the you know basically it should be um, easily accessible for the user to hover over it i just want the style to be changed so what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to select the false state that says you know it's not hovered it's default state I'm gonna select it and select my button inside this frame. So this is the button that we created earlier. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold control or 
um, command on my keyboard and resize this a little bit as you can see I want this to, uh, to be converted to a complete circle so I'm gonna go to the width and height and as you can see the height is 42 and in order to convert this to a complete circle I'm gonna convert width to I wanna set the width to 42 as well okay now it's a full circle and I don't want the circle to be the, in the middle I want the circle to be at the left so I'm gonna go to my auto layout here and s align the text to the left so it's gonna start from left not from middle so I'm gonna click here as you can see it says align left alright we're almost done the only thing left to do is basically connecting this to this one and create um, basically a, an interaction in order to do that what I'm gonna do is just select this item go to properties and basically from from this bus uh, from this plus icon or from this interaction section I can create an interaction I'm gonna go from here so I'm gonna click and drag and connect it to this one and then for the trigger I'm gonna set it as while hovering and as you can see it it is changed to it's not navigate or others it automatically realized that this is a variant and the the transition not the transition but but the type of um, prototype is gonna be changed too so it's gonna change from variant this variant to this variant so that that is gonna be reusable everywhere all right for the transition I'm gonna go with smart animate because I want this to be resized and then uh, let's play around with the um, easy and ease out maybe basically with the Bayesian or you know all the graphs that you use on After Effects or basically any um, animation style you would use anywhere so here I'm gonna go with maybe easy and out which is okay and then set the I'm gonna reduce this one a little bit so I'm gonna go with uh, 240 milliseconds something like that and I think our animation is done it's as simple as that so let's go and find it from our assets drag it here and as you can see it's a complete button your button is not ruined and you know it's not limited to this one and you can easily use this as a button so in order to test it let me create a frame by hitting A on my keyboard alright and let's set this as, uh, to the center and right now if I select my frame hit shift space to preview our animation let it load oh it's loaded and then whenever I, ho I hover over my button you can see that our animation is live but yeah uh, hope you enjoyed it that's it for this video uh, let me know what you think on the comment section below uh, make sure to check out the other tutorials on on my channel and again subscribe uh, hit the bell notification and i'll see you on the next one cheers